All right, we're live. I got my ghost shirt on, my ghost note shirt, and uh, we're going to be doing some limb independence today. I'm going to warm up on the pad. I'm going to play a new exercise that released on my website. Just kind of get my hands going, and then I'm going to do a little stretch and massage routine, and then I'm going to play a bunch of limb independence variations. So I'm going to try and get through at least 12 of them today. Uh, that's the goal, at least. So to do that, first I need to go here to my website. And we're going to go up to the drumming content and go to Chops and Technique. Let me click a button real quick on my computer. Okay. So a new exercise that released was actually under the Technique exercises, and it's called Rodeo. So it's a variation on Gallop, which was uh, written by Paul Rennick, as far as I know. And it's under here. Okay, so 16 note diddle variations. We go here and rodeo. So I'm going to play this one fast to just get my hands going and get the blood flowing. And let's try it. Let's try it at 150. See how this goes. All right. Pad sliding off too much. <laughs> Stay. Good boy. Yeah, it's still moving. Okay, that's not a good sign. I don't want my pad to be doing that. <laughs> Let's try a different one. All right, got a couple of different ones. Let's see if this one's any better. Okay, it actually fits inside of it, so it shouldn't move around. Okay, let's slow this down slightly. I want to warm up, but I don't want to overdo it quite yet. Let's go to 140 first. And damn, we'll speed her up. Right, not too shabby, not warm yet. Oops. Mess up in the end. Yeah, slurred out the diddles. Yeah, so the reason why I'm doing this is I'm just trying to get the blood flowing in my hands, and it's definitely doing that. It's a great way to just kind of get everything ready to go. And then I'm going to stretch and massage it. So I'm going to go all the way up to 144, and then I'll do the little stretch and massage. So I got a couple more reps, yeah. Whoops. Yeah, I'm slowing down on those long rolls slightly. Woo. 
Yeah, this is pushing my hands too much. It's faster than I thought it would be. All right, either way, it did what it needed to. Okay, so now that I have got the blood flowing in my arms, I'm going to actually stretch. So I'm going to hold my sticks and my palm facing up and then do this and then follow through. And oh yeah, this is a good stretch. Kind of hold this here, however long you need to. And then all you got to do is just go back the way that you came in. If you're doing traditional grip, you can stretch the rotation. I'm not doing that today. Let's set it right there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is stretch out the underside, the tendons. I'm just doing a hold. You could do both of them by leaning up against like the wall. Don't lean too hard. Don't put too much weight on it. Or if you wanted to, you could do it on the drums. For example, for this next one where I stretch the top part of the forearm, like this. All right, now I'm going to stretch out the fingers. So stretching out each one of the thumbs. And then each one of the index fingers. Ooh. Middle finger. And then ring finger. And finally, the pinky. Okay, after I do a little stretch, what I like to then do is massage. So I'm going through and just kind of loosening things up. And then we'll do that on the other arm. Okay. Next, I like to massage the hands. So I'm doing the palm, and then I'll go through and massage each one of the fingers just to get nice and relaxed. So I usually do this two, sometimes three times, starting at the base, going to the tip. All right. Now I'm gonna attempt to pick up where I left off. This is actually pretty quick for me, especially for not having warmed up. Okay, so. This exercise is a, just basically four, two, one. So you're doing four diddles on the right hand, then four diddles on the left. Then you do two of them. And you do that two times. And then you do one of each and you do it one time, or four times rather. Okay, so the pattern is four on the right hand four on the left, then you do two on each hand. So two on the right, two on the left, and you do that two times. And then you do one of each, and you do that four times. And then you just go into a roll for four counts. And then you do the same thing, except you start with the left. Then it basically reverses everything. So it starts with the first line, but it goes backwards in terms of the ordering of the measures. So we start with a roll. And then you do the one of an each. And then you do two. And then you do four diddles on each. And then the very last line is the exact same thing as what we just did, except you do it starting with the left for the diddles. Okay, so that's what's going on with this particular exercise. So let's play through it. Do I want to? Here we go.
Ups. Oops, I did four. So I'm intentionally trying to play at a breaking point, like beyond what I can, and this is trying to encourage my brain and my hands to move a little bit faster with some success. Okay, cool, good enough. I don't need these pads anymore. So, we are going to use actual drum set sticks and we're going to play with the EAD-10 that I need to turn on. And I need to plug in the audio jack so I can actually hear it. All right, cool. So now you should be able to actually hear the EAD-10. Let me actually put the drum trigger on the snare drum so you can actually hear that. All right, so today I'm gonna to be playing through at least 12 different variations of limb independence. That's the goal at least. So I'll show you how I practice this and how I work them up. Okay, so I'm going to go back here to my website. And I'm going to go to the drum kit independence section. And I'm going to be working on using these different charts. Now, the things that I'm going to be doing are some of these different patterns right here. So I'm going to just go ahead and start with number one. And so the last time I did this at 200, so my goal is to keep track of like what I was practicing and then be able to try and go a little bit faster each time I'm doing this. So instead of playing at 200, I'm gonna try it at 205 today and we'll see how that goes. So the pattern that I'm going to do is reading through all of the charts with playing it on the snare and doing swung ride and then hi-hat on two and four. So let's just go ahead and do charts one through five. And I have no idea how loud this is going to be. You're not going to actually hear the charts because there's a slight timing delay. So you'll hear me playing it and I'll give you the count offs and whatnot. But if you actually go to the YouTube channel, then you'll be able to hear a play along. Okay. And I think I did 200 instead of 205. Here we go. 205. All right. So snare drum reading the charts. Two and four on the hi hat. One, two, ready, and... A one, a two, a one, two, ready, and... The drum trigger feels a little bit off. Yeah, that's throwing me off. A one, two, one, two, ready, and. All right, that was a little bit better. 
feel like I'm leaning forward too much while I'm doing this. Like this. One, two, one, two, ready, and... Left arms a little slow today. A one, two, a one, two, ready, and. Alright, so mechanically, it feels like it's pushing my limits a little bit, but I'm able to get through it. I want to, ready, and... Ah! Ah! I don't know what's going on. It's like all of a sudden my brain was like, no, you can't play it that fast. Okay, let's record this. So, ending BPM was 205. And then we have quality of playing. It was... Mm, it was kind of in between mitt and technically proficient. proficient. Let's go with mitt. How did I feel? I felt like I was pushing my limits, that's for sure. Wasn't necessarily 100% out of control, but I mean, we'll see. Okay, cool. So I got through that one. So now what I'm going to do is just kind of keep going through each one of these until I get through about 12 or so, or until my brain says, and you're done for the day. All right, so this one is swung symbol. Interesting. Why did I start this at 106? So we're going to do short notes on snare, long notes on bass. And I did it at 200 last time. Um, let's try 205. Why not? This is definitely going to push myself, but that's okay. That's the point. I'm trying to get better at this. So let's go to the next set of charts. So we'll do 6 through 10. And then we will do 205. So same idea, but now the long notes are on the bass. And only the short notes are on the snare. I want to ready and I want to you want to ready and oops Okay, except for the very first line or so. One, two, one, two, ready, and. This is definitely like on the edge of my comfort zone. It's not musical. Two, one, two, ready, and. Oops. Uh. 
Yeah. That one is a weird one. It's funky. My pinky hit the floor, Tom. One, two, one, two, ready, and... One of the things that I noticed that was interesting is when I played some of the bass drums, my chin would dip down. One, two, that's weird. Hard. That's fast. Quality of plenty playing. Uh, mostly technically proficient. How I felt. Definitely pushing my limits on that one. Um, how do I expand a group with just my keyboard? Whoa, that's not it. I should learn how to do that. Okay, so let's do the next one. So number three. Right hand plays the line on tom, left hand fills on triplet. So I did this at 140 last time. Hmm, and I didn't write down the quality of playing. Oh, so what I was doing is I was using a book by Dom Moyle. And the book is called 50 Ways of Syncopation. And you can actually find a link to it here. And... The, what I would do is I'd write down the BPM, I'd pencil it in next to what I was, like, each one of these lines, and so I just kind of, like, filled it in. So this was 140 when I last did this, so let's try it. I don't know how comfortable 140 is going to feel, but let's go to charts 11 through 15. And this one has a bunch of tenuto markings, but we're going to just basically ignore them for right now because we're not doing anything with the short and the long notes. It's just all the same. I'm just basically going to read the charts. And what I'm going to do is fill in with triplets ghost notes on the left. A one, two, ready, and... So the left is going to play... Depending on what pattern I'm playing, two, ready, and.
Now these patterns aren't always the most musical thing to just do a whole chart on, but it's helping you work through the mechanics so you can combine them and do more musical patterns. is really weird if you do the tenuto marking that has like long notes and then the non tenuto marking goes short notes like this last line is really weird if you do it that way two ready and Alright, that one, those sets of charts were um, quite the workout for the left hand. Cool. So we did it at 140. In terms of playing, it was technically proficient for the most part. Uh, honestly, I was a little bit bored with it. Like, the pattern itself just isn't super exciting and not mentally very engaging. The hardest part was on the left hand. Okay, so this one, 145. Right hand plays short notes on the tom. But the long notes are also with the bass drum and ride, while the left hand continues to fill in with the triplets. Okay, and for some reason I played this one, which is harder, I played it faster. <laughs> so, let's try... We'll go ahead and just rotate back to charts 1 through 5, and we're going to go at 1... 46. We'll go one click faster than my previous best was. Okay. Drop my stick. Usually I do that when I'm playing. All right. Same idea, except now. One. Here we go. One, a two, a one, two, ready, and. Uh, 
two, one, two, ready, and... Ah! <laughs> Yeah, so it's getting more musical. So I'm not trying to just play the charts as written and make everything all monotone. I'm trying to, once I'm technically proficient, make it more musical. Here we go. That uh, fourth line down was a lot of fun. A one, a two, a one, two, ready, and... Let's try it. That one felt technically proficient, but not super musical on that last chart. Four. A one, a two, a one, two, ready, and... Hydrate yourself. <sighs> Doing that serves two purposes. I get hydrated and I provide a little ASMR experience for you. Enjoy. Okay. Next. So we did that 146. Mm hmm. 1,456 would be uh, pretty fast. All right, quality of playing was... It was kind of in between these two, technically proficient and musical. For the most part, it was pretty musical. Okay, how I felt. All right, I felt fun. Yeah, I enjoyed it. All right, let's do this. I should probably just keep the mouse over here. I'm just afraid it's going to keep moving around. And five, swung cymbal, hi-hat on two to four, bass drum, plays the line, snare fills triplets. Ugh. Okay, so needs a lot of work out of control at 130. Ye. Hmm. 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 Yeah, so I'm going to slow that one down, Ben. Slow it down, down. Let's try it at 100. This might be too quick. Uh, and let's go actually to the next set of charts. 6 through 10. We'll attempt at 100. 
I don't know how that's gonna go. Oh, you stop. Play. Change the volume, it's a little too quiet. So this bass drum is going to read everything Two, a one, two, ready, and It's technically actually feeling much more proficient, much more comfortable than it did last time I was playing. I know it was very off when I was doing that stream. It's probably one of the worst drum streams I've ever done. But this feels a whole lot better. I could probably go faster next time. Two, ready, and... part is like filling in with a ghost when you have um that one's weird it's a fun challenge though a one two a here we go I feel like I need to lean forward to speak into this microphone, but I don't. Just a habit. I feel like I need to do this. A one, two, a one, two, ready, and...
So oddly enough, where I messed up there is because my mind thought about how my wife told me about Kanye West getting kicked off of Twitter for 24 hours because of some stuff he had said. Or not Twitter, on Instagram. That's why I messed up. That is very random. One, two, ready, and... extra bases there you know because i wanted to make it harder that's what it was it wasn't a mistake <laughs> okay yes it was i make plenty of them on the stream uh what speed was that it was 100 right yeah 100 okay so 100 how's the quality of playing technically proficient not very musical yet uh it was kind of in between making progress and having fun. Um, I'm going to go ahead and mm, let's go with making progress. Okay, so that was number five. Number six is long notes on the hi-hat with the left foot. Ooh, and I did this at 170 previously. Ooh, ooh. And then we reverse that. Okay, interesting. All right, so no, this would be a bad one to do because of the tenudo. Let's try 171. So we're going to go one click faster than it was previously, which, if I remember correctly, really wore my foot out. 171. So this is short on the snare, long on the hi-hat with the left foot. Okay. Play. Play. I want to, ready, and. And I'll try and make them splashes. Two, one, two, ready, and. Yeah, so while I'm doing this, the splashes on the foot, I have a tendency to use too much leg motion while I lift up like a whole leg to do it. So I'm trying to minimize that while working on this. had a good idea for what I could do for uh, helping share these resources. Stay tuned. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Ooh. 
That one was not comfortable. My hi hat sliding. One, two, that certainly doesn't help. Ready, and. Keep sliding. A one, two, one, two, ready, and. So that was what speed? 171. It sounds weird, but it's a good one to just work on, just to be able to work on those shups with the foot. Uh, kind of in between mitt and technically proficient. Let's go with that one. How did I feel? I felt like I was making progress while doing that. Okay, so 6.1. The point one is like my own variation on this from Dom's book. Okay, so this one is the same idea, but you flip it. So now you're going to do all the short notes on the hi-hat, and the long notes are going to be on um, the shup. So we're going to have chicks and shups. And so I did this previously at 100, which seems like quite the foot workout, to be honest with you. Uh, let's try it. Let's try 6 through 10 at 100. Right here. See how this goes. Stay tuned. A uh, one, two, ready, and. This is not gonna go well, I can tell you that right now because of my hi hat. Keep sliding. Quite a bit, actually. A uh, one, two, a uh, one, two, ready, and. This is hard. Woo. Uh. That's hard. It's messing up my ride pattern. Because it's so diffi difficult. I just realized I was holding my stick like drumline style from, you know, the movie. I never do that. Why am I doing that? No! <laughs> Hit pause, drop my stick. All the things went wrong. Here we go. Let's <laughs> try resuming. Two, ready, and... Ah.
All right, getting a little bit better. Didn't drop my stick. Again, this is one of those ones that doesn't sound great, but it's really good for just working on your mechanics. Not everything you're gonna practice is gonna sound awesome, but it will help you play things that sound awesome later. So the technique that I'm using while I'm doing this is trying to play the long notes with the heel on the hi-hat as a shup, and then the short notes as a chick with the toe, or rather the ball of the foot. So that's the technique that I'm trying to use while doing this exercise. Not bad. Getting more comfortable. Some of the back-to-backs are a little bit hard to do. But progress is being made. Here we go, last chart. A uh, two, a uh, one, two, ready, and. Uh. All right. Not too shabby. All right, so let's go to the next one. So that was 100. And the quality of the playing, it felt technically proficient for the most part. How I felt, I felt like I was making progress. So that was good. It's not necessarily a fun one to play, but I mean, it was a good one to work on. Okay, so the next one, Bossa Nova. Accent the line with 16th notes using paradiddles. Okay, so this one, hmm. we gotta go back to my website, which by the way, you can find all these resources here in the chat. Uh, keep going back. Okay, so down here we have straight drum charts. So I'm gonna do Bossa Nova, and we are going to play it at 135 was my previous attempt okay so this one oh yeah the paradiddle one okay so let's just go ahead and do one through five 
And we're going to do 135. Which might be too fast. We'll find out. So this... Short notes. Well, let me back up. All right, so Bossa Nova. So that's what I'm going to play with the feet the entire time while I play 16th notes. Short notes, I'm going to accent. Long notes, are paradiddles. Or paradiddle little. Paradiddle diddles. Or just straight up diddles. Okay, so that's what I'm going to be playing while doing the bossa nova. Stay hi hat. A uh, one, two, oh, it's quick. We'll see how this goes. I might need to slow this down. One, a two, a one, two, a here we go. say it was goofy getting goofy in here while playing drums not a word i would have thought i would have used a two a one two ready and I was able to recover. That was a pretty big uh, mess up there. The feet were able to keep going, I think, but the hands clearly were like, ah, stop. But I jumped back in, so that was great. Progress. Some weird sticking patterns. Patterns can't speak. My throat's too dry. Too much allergies. A uh, one, two, here we go. Yeah, so it started off a lot stronger. These uh, last couple of charts were a little bit more difficult. But overall, I feel like it's feeling mostly comfortable. One, a two, a one, two, uh, here we go. 
Rate that so that speed was 135 the quality of the playing was started off technically proficient and then it kind of got meh so how i felt it was kind of pushing my limits a little bit it wasn't completely out of control like this top one let's go with this cool not bad next time maybe i'll be able to play a little bit better we'll find out stay tuned maybe i'll do it tomorrow i don't know Playing alternating triplets on the snare. Starting with the right hand. Alternating, ac okay. Accent the line, and then 2-4 on the hi-hat. Did I just get a text? <laughs> Sorry, wife. She spilled her breakfast. It's a smoothie. Oops. Um, what speed? Zero. Wow. How do you even play at zero? Okay, so 120 for the next variation. So these next three, including this one, so the two after it, are all the same idea. So let's just go ahead and do... Let's do 121 for all of them. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So we'll go one click faster. And I don't want to be on straight charts. And 121. Give you a little vocal fry there. One, two, one. One, two, one. Gonna play this at one, two, one. I want two triplets. Here we go. So the short notes. Why is it doing that? How long has my thing been set onto that? Oh no. I don't know how long my stream has been. <laughs> with a starting soon screen. Hopefully for not too long. I wasn't even looking at it. Well, we'll find out when I review this later. All right, so chart one, alternating triplets. A one, two, ready, and. So the short notes, long notes, so just basically playing the line with the accents. Alright, so this one is too slow for me. It's a fun one to play, but not as fun as the next two that I'm about to do that are much more complicated. I just hit my overhead camera.
So you notice while I was playing through that, that I was adding in flams, adding in diddles, accents, taps, all sorts of stuff. That's because I'm just trying to make this more musical. I've got it technically down. My mechanics are fine. So let's uh, make it musical. Let's make it enjoyable to listen to rather than just playing notes on the screen. Unfortunately, you can't hear all the grace notes and all the diddles and whatnot on the E8, E10. The drum triggers just aren't as sophisticated as they need to be to pick up those little smaller notes. A one, two, ready, and... I got up on the wrong hand there. I messed up the sticking. Adding in the extra diddle messed me up. Whoops. A two. A one, two, a last chart. Alright, so the next chart is, or the next exercise is the exact same thing, except now I'm going to put the long notes on the bass drum and on the cymbals. So I'll, if I have short notes, then I'll play long, 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 long. And so if it's the left hand, it's going to be on the crash. If it's the right hand, it's going to be on the ride, like that. Okay, so before we do that, let me just kind of document the progress here. So I did it at 121. The quality of the playing was musical. And I I don't know. I don't know if it was fun or bored. I'll go with bored, because like it wasn't really pushing me. I was adding in all the musicality because I was just like, eh. Technically I can play this, it's fine. Okay. So we're gonna try the next set of charts and we're gonna do it at 120. And these are gonna be more difficult. More things to think about, so it might be a little less musical. We'll find out. One, two, ready, and ding, ding, ding. Figured I'd sing the ride pattern since I wasn't playing it while moving the mouse. No one would notice, right? A one. Two, a one, two, ready, and...
Oopsie. All right. It was okay. Not great, but not terrible. I'd probably put it under the meh category, or maybe technically proficient, somewhere in between those two. One, two, next chart. That felt a lot more comfortable. I almost said a lot more better. That's not how you English, Jared. I swear, I have a PhD. I swear I know what I'm doing. Alright. <laughs> Two more charts, and then we get into adding on diddles onto all of the interior taps. It's fun variation. So where I messed up is I actually realized, oh, I didn't write down what BPM and how it felt when I played through Rodeo. And I was like, oh, I gotta remember to do that. And all those thoughts made me mess up. Lost my spot. One, two, ready, aim. Oops. Alright, so next up we have the same thing that I just did. The only difference is you add in a diddle on every one of the taps. So I don't know how well the EAD is going to pick it up, so I'm going to play it slow. So instead of going, you go like this. Etc. So eventually you'll play it faster, but 
the next set of charts that I'm going to do, 11 through 15, adds to noodle markings, which makes it very difficult. So that I'm not going to be playing it that fast. No way. 121 is even going to be really pushing it. My mouse got caught on the snare drum. I just launched it. Even the underside came off. Well, that was unfortunate. All right. Still works. <laughs> Let's try this again. Dropping all sorts of stuff today. Oh, 122. No, it went backwards. That's what happened. Hit the back button on the side of the mouse. Didn't mean to do that. 121. Charts 11 through 15. These are hard. All those little lines, the dashes are tenudos. Oops, early. And yeah, I'm going to play them all on longs like that while doing the alternating stuff with diddles Distracting me. Keeps moving, which is causing that to change the screen a little bit. All right, there we go. One, two, I don't need any distractions. This is hard enough. more comfortable. Nice not having the distractions of the mouse moving the screen. Still difficult. One, two, ready, and... how you do it. Just like that. Pro drummer right here. I swear I've been playing for 20 years. I'm just playing the stuff I'm not great at. Welcome to my stream.
All right, I clearly need to work on this one more and even slow it down. If I was just playing it without the diddles, it'd be a whole lot easier, but trying to think of like when to add in the isolated diddles on those short notes while they're technically also long notes, whew, it's hard. the drum trigger on accident. That's why all of a sudden it got loud. Cool. Water break. <sighs> Should've wore a bib. Dribbling a bit. Okay. So that was at 121, and that was not good. 121. How did it, well, how's the quality? It needs a lot of work, and it felt out of control. Uh, cool. So even though I did not play that very well, even though that exercise did not go well, it still gave me some data to work with. So I can go, okay, well, next time when I come back to this, whatever data it's going to be, I'll know that 121 did not go well, and it was out of control, so I can slow it back down and then work her up. Okay, so let's do, oh, unison hand samba feet. Okay, so I did this previously at 200. Let's do that. Let's try a little faster. Let's live on the edge today. Let's go with samba. And we're gonna play, let's try 205, ooh. I know. Yeah, we need to try that again. It got stuck again on the snare drum. And apparently I lost a key on my keyboard. F5. No refresh for me. Okay. <laughs> I spoke too soon. There's a refresh right there. All right, 205. This is going to be quick... I want to ready and so I'm doing unison on the hands. I want to I want to ready and My right foot is slowing down a little bit. This is quick for me. One, two, I want to ready in.
one, two, ready, and. Definitely pushing my limits. And one, two, ready, and. Oh, my foot got so tired at the end. Okay. Okay. That was 205. Quality of the playing was meh. Yep, it was slash. How I felt. I felt. It's kind of like in between out of control and pushing my limits. Let's go with pushing my limits. I think that kind of describes it. Wasn't great. Is what it is. But. Okay, so how many was that? So I think that was 12. Yep, so we have 6.1 plus 11. Cool. Yeah, so I got through 12, which is cool because I'm getting to a point where I really just have to go pee. So I'm going to do one more. And it's not on here. And it's Bayon. And I'll just. Go ahead and go with the next pattern. So the biome pattern, or the next BPM rather, biome with the feet is really funky. It goes. I'm going to play an ostinato on the right hand. So I'm going to go. And I'm going to read the charts with the snare. So we'll just go with the next BPM. And then I'm gonna end it here because I'm gonna have to pee. In case you wanted to know, now you know. A one, two, here we go. I like this one. It's so groovy. It's fun to play, which is why I'm ending with it. I want to have fun when I end. Not bad. 
improvise here, or you can narrate what you're thinking and... Ah! That one was funky. All right, last chart. A one, two, here we go. a good funky one to end on. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do my reflection on dropping my sticks, and then I'm going to raid somebody else's channel. So let me actually do this, and then do this. If you are an actual human being and not a bot, and have opinions on how the stream went, now is going to be your opportunity to let me know. I'm pulling it up right now, my little reflection at the end. Today is the 19th, and I streamed for 95 minutes. Let me pull up this. Not that camera, this camera. Cool, it doesn't have the window. Okay, let's fix that. Mm, 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 mm. There we go. Okay, so today I drammed, drammed, dramamined for 95 minutes. It was in the morning. What did I do? I drummed. Overall vibe. Um, I thought it was fun. So I had fun playing through what was ended up being 13 different charts. It got a little goofy at times. Uh, I felt focused, but overall I think it was fun. So the quality of the drumming, um, hit or miss. Hurt or burr, hit or miss, pun intended, um, but overall improvement. Quality of the stream, so how I was, I felt like I was in a goofy, fun mood and enjoyed the stream. Maybe you didn't? I don't know. Now's your opportunity to let me know. So what I will do is actually look at the chat, and if you have thoughts on how my playing was, what I could do to improve it, let me know. Just because I've been playing for a long time doesn't mean I don't have a lot of things to work on, as you could obviously tell with my playing. Uh, and then any thoughts on how it was? You don't know you just got here? Well, welcome, Taco. I'm going to be playing some Elden Ring later. How about you? And then we'll be playing some Fortnite with Nero if you want to jump on with us. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find somebody to raid Inception, Inception, Inception. And so we are going to raid somebody new. Kid Yuki I've raided a couple of times. I do enjoy their content. But I want to find somebody else. Uh-oh, I'm hearing myself. All right, mute. Browse, music. I have no idea if any of these people are going to be family friendly or not. So if you're here for that, uh, no promises here. Let's see. What are you playing? You you scratching? I think they're scratching. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, there's two people on this one. I want to go with somebody who's just playing the drums. Like this person, rock and metal. Let's get it. Who is this? Cancer Research Fundraiser. Okay. Let's see. Sluggas, hosted by DJ Rich, who streams anything. Oh, it's not an actual drummer. <laughs> you fooled me. You're just playing somebody else who's playing music. Mm 
Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's do instrumental. Let's see if we can find somebody that way. Oh, somebody playing jazz. I have no idea what language this is. Okay. That's cool. I have no idea what that guy was saying, that person was saying, but... Would have been fun to stream, or raid, I guess, but uh, I don't think anyone would get it. If you're here for the English. That was not English. Oh, somebody's playing around with Ableton. Cool. That's the DAW that I use when I'm, like, triggering random sound effects and whatnot. And it's a good one. Yeah, I'm having a hard time finding just somebody who's drumming. Not a lot of drummers. Lots of DJs, which is great. What's interesting is, like, as somebody, as somebody with, like, a, a background in music education, like, all three of my degrees in music education, it's interesting that, like, DJs are so popular, and yet you're not allowed to get into a school of music. And I've just always found that to be weird. Like, it's so biased towards Western classical instrumental primarily m music, especially if you want to become a music teacher. So if you're a DJ, you'd like literally have to like play um, like an acoustic instrument and do it well or be a vocalist or something in order to even get into the school of music, which honestly is problematic. It prevents who can become a music educator. And then the cycle continues because we don't see DJs teaching, DJing and scratching and whatnot. And instead, we just continue to do what we've always done. Hmm. Not a lot of drummers on today. All right, that's cool. Well, Kid Yuki is, is fun, so let's go with Kid Yuki. So we're going to raid them. Right now. I hope you all have a good rest of your day. I'll be on in a little bit. I'm going to be streaming some Elden Ring in probably about an hour or so. So stay tuned. But here we go. Bye.